I'm Christophe Sereno, and I work in the French Institute of Vine and Wine. This institute was created last year in 2007 and results from a fusion between Antal and ITV France. ITV France was a technical institute of vine and wine, and it deals, it deals with the experimentation of viticultural, analogical, and environmental methods. Thus, since, since last year, we have in France only one institute which gathers all the activities of wine and wine industries on the basis of the clonal selection and change the setting in markets of wines. Now I will speak about clonal selection of Cabernet Sauvignon in France, but before, I would like to thank Deborah Golino, who invited me to take part in this day, and Nancy Sweet, who helped me much to prepare this presentation. Um, I would like also thank the French colleagues who took part in this world, Maybe you know Laurent Adegain and Jean-Michel Borsico. Marie-Catherine Dufour and Daniel Vergne, our regional partners in Bordeaux and in the southwest region of France. And Jacques Degay, who provide me, provided me a large part of the statistics we will see in a moment. He works for Viniflore, which is the French Office of Regulation uh, for Vine and Wine, but also for fruits, vegetables, and flowers. I will start with a short history of the Cabernet Sauvignon variety. According to Ampelographie's book of Viala and Bermorel, published at the beginning of the previous century, Cabernet Sauvignon is a variety grown in Bordeaux region at least the 17th century. In 1998, uh, 1997, sorry, Bowers and Merigit found that the very, the, sorry, that there is a very high degree of probability that Cabernet Sauvignon is a progeny between Cabernet Franc and Sauvignon Blanc. More recently, this crossing was confirmed in particular by the vine genetic team of Indra Montpellier and Indra Colmar in France. I would like now to speak about the importance of Cabernet Sauvignon in France. On total of a little more than two point 2 million acres of grapevines planted in France, Cabernet Sauvignon represents approximately 150,000 acres. This surface locates it at the sixth rank of the varieties with approximately 7% of French vineyard. You can see that Cabernet Sauvignon, oops, sorry, here, uh, is located behind Merlot, Grenache, Uniblanc, Carignan, and Syrah, and before Chardonnay, Cabernet Franc, Gamay, Pinot Noir, and Sauvignon. If we are looking at the evolution of surfaces since 1958, we realize that Cabernet Sauvignon plantations in, sorry, in yellow color um, increased regularly until today. It is also the same fact for Merlot, uh, Syrah, and Chardonnay. But if we consider other varieties like Carignan, uh, Senso, Aramon, which do not appear here, we could see a major decrease of surface for this variety since 30 years now. By looking at the map of France, we can see that the main surfaces of Cabernet Sauvignon are located in the west of the country. Um, that is the origin of the, of the variety. West region, including Bordeaux, represents approximately 80,000 acres, an half of French Cabernet Sauvignon surfaces. The other half is di distributed in the south, in Languedoc, region of Montpellier, uh, in Provence, and the Bouan, region of Marseille and Toulon, and southwest region of Toulouse. Southwest in yellow. There are eight clones mainly, mainly used in France 169, 15, 337, 685, which are more of 10% of increased blocks. Then we have 191, 338, 341, and 170. Other clones 
represents only 2% yeah, of increase blocks. Now, evolution and achievement of the canal selection program in France. Until now, we had two generations of clones. The first one, 60s to 80s, with its main objectives. Healthy, healthy material, because fan leaf was widespread in the vineyard. True to tap material, corresponding to the standard features of the variety, because there could be much confusion between the name of variety, but there were also problems with synonymy. Regular production uh, and maturity for facilitating farming operations and to harmonize, to harmonize dates of grapes harvest and medium to high yield level to ensure a regular income to vine growers. With these main objectives, the first comb were certified in 1971. At this date, Cabernet Sauvignon 15, but also some, clone of Char some Chardonnay clones, Grenache 70, some Pinot Noir clones, and Silva 99 and 100 were certified. The second generation of clones, 80s up to now, is more focused on leaf roll and secondary, and secondary viruses. Uh, on, this, on this slide, you can show flake virus, flake symptom, sorry, corky bark symptom, and leaf roll. And of course, the second generation is more focused on agronomical, technological, and analogical data, as we will see in a moment. This slide shows shows you the various stages of French colonial selection. When you want to select new clones, we're collecting vines in all vineyards, vineyards or in local repository. After a laser test, we have what we call, what we call clone heed in a pot. With this clone heed, we make grafting plants that we plant in data collection to evaluate the technological potential of each clone. This part is called is called genetic or agronomical selection. Yeah. It takes place in origins region of each variety. For Cabernet Sauvignon, data collections of clones are located in Bordeaux region. At the same time, in domain de l'Espiguette, uh -huh, we realize the sanitary selection on clone heat by annexing method and complementary analyzer tests. At the end of genetic and sanitary selection, um, ANTAV presents the candidate clones to the standing committee for selection. If this, com if, sorry, if this committee considers that candidate clones are good, these clones are certified and registered by the French Ministry of Agriculture. Now we will see in more details the selection process. The first step is pre-selection or collecting in old vineyards. So we need to have 50 years old vineyard or more. That means vineyard planted before the beginning of conal selection. In this old vineyard, we consider that each vine is genetically different from the others. Principle of pre-selection consists on one or two years of visual checking during spring time or before harvest. Main criteria that we check, balanced vines with specific characteristics like small clusters and small berry size, and of course, no various symptoms. This is the origin of some Cabernet Sauvignon certified clone. Clone 15 and clone 169 come, comes from AOC Bordeaux Superior. Uh, clone 170, the origin Roar Valley. Clone 191, um, 338, and 341, the origin AOC Saint Emilion. Sorry, uh, maybe Bordeaux Superior. Bordeaux Superior is this area, and Saint Emilion is this little area. Um, Clone 337, origin Côte de Blaye. Oops, sorry. Code de Blaye is here. Um, clone 412 Bordeaux region and Clone 650, uh, 685 comes from southwest of France. 
second step of clonal selection is sanitary selection. Virus diseases required by the Ministry of Agriculture, fan leaf with two types, Arabic mosaic virus and grapevine fan leaf virus. Uh, leaf roll, one, two, and three. And we can also make complementary tests, grapevine flake virus, rugose wood complex, with grapevine cortibac virus, rupacis tempeating, and cobus stem grooving. Fan leaf, leaf roll, flake, and cobus stem grooving are made both by alaser test and indexing method. Corky bark and robust stamp eating are only, by, are only made by indexing method. For Cabernet Sauvignon, we introduced more than 260 clones in 40 years. On this number, we have 19% of leaf roll, roughly 80% of fleck, roughly 12% of robust stamp eating, uh, 11% of fan leaf, less than 1% of cobra stem grooving, and no corky bark. Third part is genetic or agronomical selection. I will start by an experimentation carried out in Madiran, that is in the southwest of France. Madiran is here, and Bordeaux is here, for example. This is Spain. Um, Parameters of data collection, soil texture, clayé, sandy, and sandy. Density, 4,000 vines per hectare. Woolstock, 3309 cooder. Viticultural results, average over six years, and follow up by Chambre de Culture des Pyrénées Atlantiques. The first graph on, on the left, weight per vine according, according to sugar content. We can see that clone um, 191 is less productive and has the highest sugar content. Clone 685 is the most productive and two other clones have an intermediate behavior. On the right side, second graph, um, number of cluster according to weight per cluster Clone 191 with the weakest fertility and the smallest bunches. Here. Clone 685 is the most fertile. And two other clones have also, in this case, an intermediate, intermediate behavior. Recent experimentation carried out in Domaine du Grand Parc, that is an Indra estate. Appellation, Première Côte de Bordeaux, just just here, in the southeast of Bordeaux. Uh, soil texture, gravel with sand. Density, 5,000 vines per hectare. Number of vines, six repetitions of 10 vines per each clone. Wood stock, 101.14. And results average over four years. This graph so shows the percentage of variation of each clone compared to the average. We can see that uh, clone 15 and, 600, and, uh, sorry, and 685 are both productive because they are the biggest clusters. Uh, sorry, here and here. Clone 331 is the least productive because it has the small clusters here. Clone 412 is, is also less productive than the average. Okay, 412. And 169 and 337 are close to the average. Other graph, which is showing also the percentage of variation, we can see that alcoholic content is about the same one for all clones. Clones 169 and 412 have a little less acidity here. Clone 341 and 337 have a little more acidity. Total polyphenol, clone 685 is in lower part of the average. Here, and anthocyanin, clone 412 is in the top part of the average. Results of testing made by the panel of wine growers and winemakers. Clone 15, fruity, aromatic, but less concentration in mouth. Clone 169, strong tannin, 
Uh, good structure, con 337 aromatic, good quality of tannins, long. Con 341 color, tannins, well balanced, good structure. Uh, clone 412, good clone, good wine, very, with color, aromatic, body, quality of tannins, well balanced. And clone 685, 85, aromatic, tannins, with less concentration in mouth. So, conclusion on certified clone. In France, we have 20 certified clones of Cabernet Sauvignon, with many potentiality for different types of production. As I said before, uh, only eight or nine clones are used by vine growers, those in orange color, like this one. But each category of production is taken into account, weak, medium, or high production level. For Cabernet Sauvignon, some certified clones are leaf wall 2 positive, clone 191, 337, 339, and 341. So, at the end of the 19th, we decide to restart a new selection of Cabernet Sauvignon. Now I will talk about new future, new, uh, sorry, I will talk about future selections. Since 1998, we have an official protocol for study or data collection to evaluate ergonomical and technological potentialities of new clones. Experimental fields located in the main culture area of the variety. Regional partners are involved in the program of selection, like Chambre Culture de Gironde for Cabernet Sauvignon. Origin of the material must be, center, must be selection center or repository. 20 clones maximum and two or three clones certified for reference. Minimum of five repetitions of five vines per clone to have a significant difference in the results. Of course, same clone of full stock for each clone. Five years of, res of results for viticultural data and three years of results from wine making and testing. Required objectives for the next selected clones representative clones of the genetic diversity and natural variability of the variety, complementary clones with various fertility, various sugar content, various length of vegetative cycle, to reduce production costs, limited budget density because of sensitivity, because of sensitivity to budgetis, and to optimize quality of vines, more complexity and aroma characteristic, and more polyphenolic content. Uh, we have two recent study collections of Cabernet Sauvignon in Bordeaux. The first is an experimentation on sanitation by macrografting. Clones 191 and 337, which are leaf fold positive, compared to the same clone after micrografting. It's a recent experimentation, so we have only two years of data but we can say that uh, micrografted clones seem, uh, sorry, micrografting seems, seems to modify the behavior of clones. Indeed, micrografted clones seem to be more productive and more vigorous, but for instance, no significant difference in terms of sugar content, total acidity, and anthocyanins. Second part of future selections come from recent collectings in Bordeaux's old vineyard, Location of these collectings, Medoc and Côte de Blaye. 20 vines collected and introduced at Espiguette in 2005. Following a laser test, 50% of leaf roll, of fan leaf, 10% of leaf wall, and 20% of flake virus. This spring, plantation of 11 potential clones in a new data collection. Required objective for these clones, low fertility with loose bunch, bunches and small berries. After data collection, I will speak to you about genetic repository with those required objectives, conservation of the largest intravarietal diversity. The objective is to be able to use these accessions for future selections according to needs or evolution markets. Main rules to follow to create a genetic repository, collecting in very old vineyards to find the largest diversity. 
preferring the number of vineyards explored rather than the number of vines collected per vineyard, because in only one vineyard, we have more risk to have only one and even origin of the vines. A LZ test must be made for fan leaf and leaf fall one, two, and three, planting about five to 10 vines per accession with some repetitions of certified clones as control. Identity PCR test to check if necessary. We have two repositories of Cabernet Sauvignon clones in Bordeaux. First repository is the oldest one. First collectings were carried out in 60s. 105 accession are planted in, in our estate. Some of them will become clones 191, 337, 338, 339, 340, and 341. Second collecting in 70s, 110 accession planted at Inra Estate. We have also a new repository with origin of collectings, Medoc and Côte de Blaye. Thus, 14 new accessions will be planted this spring. Now I will, I will talk to you about recent genetic results. Previne genome sequence analysis is completed since 2007. Its results from a collaboration between Genoscope, INRA, the Institute of Applied Genomics, and a consortium of Italian groups. With the data collected in repositories, we have already the phenotypical characteristic of each clone. We hope that genome sequence analysis will be able to help us for new selection in the future, thanks to the method of marker-assisted selection. New selections could be based on specific and precise criteria, like berry size, sugar content, polyphenol, and anthocyanins. Other recent genetic results is the clonal identification. By using SSR analysis method on Cabernet Sauvignon clone, we obtain eight different groups. Three of them are composed uh, by several clones, this one, this one, and this one, which we cannot distinguish. But we have also five groups with, with only one clone per group, this one and this one. That means we could be able to identify clones, these clones, by using SSR analysis method. We have also the same type of results on some other varieties like Syrah or Pinot Noir. I would like to finish this presentation while speaking to you about Antav Inra trademark. This trademark is registered in 50 countries and it present in California since 1998. Many rules, clones come directly from SPGET repository and cuttings are taken on an identified second wine of initial material. Traceability is guaranteed by a system of contract of license. Cabernet Sauvignon clones under trademark available in California. We have three groups of production. The first one, high yield level, with clone 15 and 685. Wine style, fruity, aromatic, easy to drink. Medium yield level, with clone with clones 170, 337, and 338, wine style, aromatic, well-balanced, and good tannins. And the, the last group, weak yield level, with clone 169, 191, 341, and 412. The wine, the wine are more color, structure, and tannic. Note the clone underlined of the California certification. Finally, we have four licenses of Antavino Anta trademark in California, San Ridge Nursery, California Grapevine Nursery, Eric Grapevines, and Merci California. Thank you for your attention. And I would like to apologize for my accent and the fault <laughs> I could make during this presentation. Thank you. Yes, if we have some question, if you have some questions, sorry.
you repeat the question? Yes, you can answer. Yeah. Uh, for the experimentation uh, de Bordeaux, ce sont, ce du Guillaume. For the, the question was, for the field experiments, um, was, were the vines trained to Guillot, or sorry, to Cain or to Cordon? It's uh, Cain. Uh, without renewal spurs. Other questions? Yes. Alors, certains domaines utilisent donc sélection massale, mais la plupart utilisent des clones certifiés à euh, l'assemblage. Uh, the question was, do most producers in Bordeaux plant single clones or mixes? And some still plant um, the mass selection, so the um, random. <laughs> But um, most plant now uh, a mix of selected clones. You want to know which ones also? Yes. Which 397. 397. 397. Uh, 337. 197. Ah, 191. Uh, and now, de plus en plus, le 169. And now, um, more and more, 169. Sounds a little familiar, doesn't it? Yes. Oh, yes, okay. We'll leave that up for a while. Yes. What's the on top of paint on a pesticide stem fitting? Is it a non issue for them or are they more sensitive to it? It's a non issue. It's a non issue. What has happened with the programs around the world, Ontov included, is that many of the older clones that were necessary to to get our work done in the vineyards did have rupestrous stem pitting, and I think I, I think I can speak for both Ontov and the California program, um, Australia, New Zealand, etc. The um, newer clones were making an effort to remove rupestrous stem pitting, and in fact, it's the shoot tip culture and the micrografting does eliminate it, and therefore newer clones are far less likely to have it. But many of the important older clones in the Ontov collection, as well as the FPS collection, do have rupestrous stem pitting. Do you have any other questions? Yes, Steve. Uh, when we gather the data, most of the um, sugar accumulation looks like it's a function of yield. Are there any of the in hop clones that can be lower sugar producers in the pan of yield? There are some selections that are basically ripe at a higher yield, but he, he said it would be sub mm -hmm. but, he said, <laughs> but he questions the quality um, parallels. They're, they're not able to differentiate between those two. So they're, they're from the same group. Probably you cannot yet differentiate phenotype. This is just an SSR pattern, right? And it doesn't tell you anything about the performance. Yeah, yeah they're, they're unable to tell the difference between um, the two and no information on performance. So the SSR groupings have to do with um, a marker that it's making a pattern, but it doesn't necessarily have to do with phenotype. And so that work remains to be done. Steve. 
Oh. Oh, okay. En France, c'est difficile. <rire> Parce que nous, on n'a pas le même problème. Comme je disais, le problème avec la cabane sodium, pour nous, c'est qu'il doit mourir. D'accord Parce que nous avons des conditions qui peuvent limiter, surtout à Bordeaux. Parce qu'il peut mourir. Ici, c'est pas du tout. Donc, vous cherchez des sodiums. It's difficult, he said it's very difficult to compare because in Bordeaux they're looking, because of uh, weather conditions, they're looking for higher sugar producing clones. So did that answer the question? So the answer is no. <laughs> he, he said he has a couple clones that might work for you. <laughs>